Oh no, it's running back to my base. Oh, I am not about to have a ghost Leviathan attacking my base all the time. What is going on everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Subnautica modded. Oh man. Is it going to be a good day? It is a good day. Every day is a good day. Anyways, what are we doing today? Well, I have no idea. We'll figure it out along the way. I know what I want to, uh, a couple things I want to check out and I want to try and I want to play with. So it's going to be super exciting. Um, but hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. If you are, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's, let's get, let's get going. So I um, actually talked to uh, one of the, uh, one of the mod makers for the FCS studio mods, which is a lot of these, uh, these nice looking mods that we have. And now, uh, they were informing me of some things and some stuff and, you know, I'll, I'll get into it. And there's a wiki that's like super useful. Anyways, <laughs> uh, one of the things, the first thing that I want to go with, the first thing I want to try is I actually want to try this commands thing because uh, it looks like we can upgrade how many items are pulled from the drill per day. However, it increases the power usage. Now, um, I... I think we can connect our base to this if this is already not on the base. Um, and we have 750 power. You know what I mean? Like we have a lot of power. So I'm thinking that it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, am I missing titanium? What the heck? Is there any titanium in here? <gasps> no, there's not. Okay, we're actually gonna have this pull in titanium too. Why not? Might as well. Let's adjust that. But yes, thank you again for coming out. Um, I am having an absolutely most fantastic day. Let's go home. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So I must not have any titanium anywhere. Oh, geez. Do I seriously not have any titanium? No, there's no titanium in there. That's unfortunate. That is super unfortunate. Okay. Also, so while we're here, I want to talk about this while we're here. You don't have to format the... Um, I know I'm hungry. It's fine. You actually don't have to format the servers. If you leave them unformatted, they will just store whatever. So that was my bad because I didn't read the wiki. I didn't read the, the information on that, but that is super useful. So now we can make some more. Uh, actually, I don't think we have the stuff to make anymore. If I'm not mistaken, hold on. This is the wrong thing. I need to go into here and I need to go into here. Uh, advanced wiring kit and titanium. I think we're out of titanium. I think we're like straight up out of titanium. Uh, let's go get some titanium real quick. Okay, so I wanna put one of uh, I wanna put one of these here. And I wanna see if we can get a beam of uh, of power going to that thing. Let's just leave it for a minute. Because sometimes it takes a it take it takes a little bit to get set up. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Come on. You know, I'm almost wondering, can I build a solar panel? I'm going to build a solar panel on here. Just in case the uh, the mod doesn't see that uh, wind turbine as a source of power. So let's just build this on here and then maybe I'll kind of like trick it into thinking that it, it's generating power and it's generating so much power. Uh, doesn't seem to do anything. You know, I'm almost thinking that this thing right here is just getting power from my base anyways. <laughs> I feel like it's just wirelessly transferring it anyways. Okay, anyways, so I want to play with some of these uh, commands and whatnot. Let's go and put that away. Uh, let's go to the programming page. Use function, functions calls to drill, to calls to your drill to upgrade. Okay, so enter function. I am aware of this. Okay, so I think what we need to do here is let's do uh let's do this os ors per day and we want uh let's see if we can get let's see if we can just double it 24 with that and boom boom does that work uh, invalid class OS doesn't exist. Please check the documentation. Okay. I literally just like copy and paste. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Okay. So that doesn't work. Um, 
Ores per day. OS ores per day. 10. Oh, you know what? I'm dumb. There. Deep Driller is now configured to drill 24 ores per day. Active. Power usage is 3.62. So now it's going to be pulling 24 items per day. Um, I kind of want to know where it's getting its power from, though. So if I go to maintenance power, no, that's not what I want. All right, let's see. Is this going to be an issue or is it not? Settings. Is that 99%? 98. Oh, is it going to be pulling a lot of power now? 97. Okay, it's definitely not hooked up to the base still. It is still most definitely not hooked up to the base. Uh... Why won't this work? Why can't I get this power transmitter? Oh. Oh, it straight up shows it, but it just doesn't work with the wind turbine. Oh. Wait, why can't I build that? Gold titanium. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, so that's going there. Now, how much power is it transmitting? Is it only transmitting the power from the solar panel? It's at 90%. If it was transmitting the wind turbine, there's no way it would be um, going down. It'd probably be filling up rather quickly. 91. Okay, let's see. Does it say... So I was at 750 before. Let's see what our power draw says now. It says 825. Oh, wow. That thing is actually pulling quite a bit of power. Oh, but it's not going below 750. It's almost like it doesn't recognize the wind turbine as a power source, which makes sense because that is a mod in itself. What would we need? I don't think we have a nuclear reactor yet. I'm not, I don't think we have bioreactor. We don't have the nuclear reactor yet. Huh? Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely just, um, it's not pulling from the, the from the wind turbine whatsoever. But that's, you know, understandable. It's a different mod, different things. But we are pulling 24 items a day now, which is amazing. Ooh, that's good. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Okay. So that was one thing I wanted to check out. Now, there's other commands. Uh, there's other commands that you can actually put in there. Oh, my gosh. This whole food and water situation thing is super annoying. I'm not going to lie. It's just super annoying. Um, there is another command that you can put in there. That is a max ore count. Tells the drill to only store the maximum uh, amount of items in this drill of this type. So essentially, uh, we could put that like, oh, once it hits like, you know, titanium 50, it's no longer going to get titanium, which would be, it, it's going to be super cool and super nice. Um, but I'm not to that point yet. I'm not to that point. But you know what? I'm actually kind of thinking about it now. Um, while I was chatting with them, they, they shared a mod that they made for improved power network. Um, I'm thinking we might need to add that and see how that works. Cause maybe, I mean, like I said, this is not that, that is not an FCS mod, but I'm wondering if with the improved power network thing, if it might actually recognize that and grab that power too, because that would be super handy. All right, you know what? Let's try it. Let's do it. Let's add another mod. Let's add another one, shall we? Okay, so we have this other mod installed. Oh, I can already see power lines going from places. What in the heck is going on here? Max power 900, current power is 750. Main connections true, other connections true. Left hand, uh, full enable, disable. Deconstruct key. Other connections green. Okay, left hand. So do I get a power restored? What the All heck? Primary systems online. Hold on a second. How does this work? Okay, so if I put this here. Uh what are you can oh my gosh, that's connecting my other drill! Max power, 75 current power, left hand full, uh, disable. This is connecting my other drill. No way. Is that seriously connecting my other drill all the way over here? 
Oh my gosh, it is. It is connecting the drill all the way across there. That's a that's kind of fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. That is kind of amazing. But I gotta figure out how to use this thing. Okay, maybe I should maybe I should read on it a little bit to figure out how to use it. Darn it. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm playing with this a little bit. I think I'm figuring it out a little bit. Okay, so what I did was I put it on the base. Now, I believe that this purple line, this purple laser, is actually going to the base. That's the main power source. So, you can see current power, 749, 749. But there is a main, this blue line is a main line. So, if I hover over it and hit Q, it would turn off any other random lines, which are green. So, the reason that that blue line is going out there is because we have a power transmitter all the way out there. So, like this guy... If I hit Q, it's going to actually disable the uh, the green. It's going to disable that. But that also means that this thing should be getting fully powered. Because it has uh, 750 running through it. So that means that this thing should charge up and be good to go without an issue. Um, now, the next question I have. Let's actually hop in the Seamoth. I want to know how far these things actually can go out. So let's go in my bag. Uh, do I have any gold? Let me grab some gold. So we can get some power lines around here. Uh, can't take any more gold. It must all be in the, uh, it must all be in this extra storage, X storage thing right here. Okay. So that looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some water real quick. And that's good. Okay. So let's get in this, let's get in this, the, the sea moth here. And let's see if we can run power. Gosh, I wonder how far away these things can actually run. Like, do, how? what's the range in these things? Because, like, look at the range on this one. It's going... All systems online. It's going way over here. Like, holy moly. It's going all the way over here into these. And I'm going to say that this... Okay, so this one's no longer connected. So if I disconnect, because we have a power deal there. If I disconnect this one, or actually if I just go to, okay, it's not gonna hit that one. Uh, let's, let's disconnect this one. Actually, let's just build another thing over here. And that should cover this guy for sure. Let's put it right here. Put that like that. Boom. We got line. We got drill going straight to that guy. Easy peasy. Now, that means that I shouldn't actually need this anymore. Uh, what's my... Okay, inventory is looking good. That means I don't need this guy anymore for any reason. I don't believe. Um, and then I actually probably don't need this one either. Inventory is full. Of course it is. Let's throw some stuff in here. Now, the best part about this, the best thing that we could do here is if we could get some nuclear reactor stuff going because then we could have our base power everything like essentially we could set up a power plant like literally a base just generating power for all the stuff we could absolutely do that okay so that's still connected this is looking good uh is this still getting the 750 power hold on let's get rid of the tool still getting 750 power honestly with i don't even know if we need a nuclear reactor if it's counting the power from the wind turbine? If it's counting the power from the wind turbine, like, we are good. Unless these, unless it's not counting the power from the wind turbine. I have no idea. Let's see, this is at 5%. It should be going up. It should be getting charged rather quickly. 6%. Maybe it has like a max charge rate or something. It could. 7%. Okay, so that's charging. Let's go put up another one. Let's go put up another one over by the uh, the entrance to the Lost River. And I want to see if it's going to connect all the way out there. Like, that's, a, that's 1,400 meters away. Is it really going to connect out there? I don't know. I'm curious. I want to know. What the heck? What are you doing out here? What the heck is that doing out here? You're not even remotely close to your place, dude.
You are not where you're supposed to be. Oh no, it's running back to my base. Oh, I am not about to have a ghost Leviathan attacking my base all the time. Oh, you get out of here. It's still trying to outrun me. It is phasing through like everything. You need to get out of here. Maybe you can't kill these things. Oh man, we're gonna have a friend. We're about to have a new best friend. Uh, Where the heck did it just go? It just totally dipped out. I have no idea where it went. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go charge up. I used all like all my power, uh, fighting off that thing. I need laser turrets. Um, we need a mod for automated laser turrets on the base, so it'll automatically shoot stuff. <laughs> uh, specifically ghost leviathans that wanted to move in. Okay, so we're gonna let that charge. Um, let's go check on stuff. I want to make sure that this power is working because if that wind turbine is actually, it's not spinning. If that wind turbine is actually going to be powering everything. I'm seriously considering just making a wind farm because then we don't ever have to do anything with it. It's not spinning though, but it is generating power, which is weird. But we're at 532, 528, 5. Oh, we are not generating power. It doesn't look like it's not going up. Uh, is it broke? Wind turbine 92% needs maintenance. Use repair tool. Oh, Oh, it needs fixed. Okay. All right. Uh, I didn't realize it had damage. That is super cool though. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it is like, it's cool. And it just slowly takes damage over time. <gasps> oh, I like that actually. I actually kind of like that. You know what? I think we need to make some wind farms. I think we need to robust our power uh, a little bit here. What do I need to build more platforms? Titanium and lead, we got that. How come that doesn't line up? Is that gonna line up? That doesn't look like it's gonna line up, does it? Huh? Plus two, what the heck? That did not line up at all. But I guess it's still considered part of the base. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put one there and then we're gonna put one here. Gosh, I almost wanna redo this one. And like bring it down a little bit, but it's not gonna let me because this stuff's like attached to it. Hmm. How are you looking? How's, what's, it's already at 85%. <gasps> Is it because it's pulling so much power? I wonder, okay. Um, We need more titanium, more lead. Okay, let's grab those. All right, we got those two. Let's see if we can get uh, a couple more wind turbines in here because apparently pulling that much power from them is going to cause them to uh, deteriorate rather, rather quickly, actually, I must say. Uh, all right. What do I need for where was the wind turbine stuff at? Actually, was it was it an FCS tech? Actually, I don't think it was. I think it was one of these. Uh, it was under deployables, wasn't it? Or no? Uh, personnel, tools, equipment, resources, well, electronics. Yeah, electronics. Okay. Turbine base, turbine generator and turbine blades. Okay, so we need a lot of titanium and then we need uh, what am I out of? Probably titanium and titanium, copper, maybe, and should have everything else, right? Oh, I only have five copper. Oh, and it's not, not actually even on the base. Okay. So I think the reason I can't, because we have copper on the network, we can see it, but we can't pull from it. And I think that's because I don't have the antenna. Uh, I think it's because we don't have this antenna. 
so let's try to get this antenna and put it down so that way at least the uh the things right next to my base i can at least just pull from this terminal so we don't have to keep swapping back and forth i believe i think that's how it works uh we need a titanium ingot and an advanced wiring kit okay all right all right all right we got this we got this oh why does it say the base has no power resources crafting said base had no power weird basic materials titanium ingot okay i need more titanium uh yeah i want to get that oh so i want to get this antenna made and then uh we need to make more power because I, I i'm not sure what's going on with the power we have 750 i don't know why that said that there was no power though that's weird hmm you know what do we have titanium in the storage of this guy yes we did heck yes awesome okay all right antenna let's make one of these and let's figure out how this thing works um does it need powered maybe okay let's go out here and let's place this guy i'm super curious now Okay, so, uh, exterior modules, antenna net, shelter antenna provides a reliable connection to all your terminals around the planet. Should I just throw that on here, maybe? Let's just throw that right there. Base zero is now online. Now... Antenna on power usage is 0, 0.0. Does that, will that allow me to pull from here? Okay, so what do we have in here? We have 10 silver and one gold. Um, I think I already have a lot of those in there. Or we also have sand in there. There's a, there was a sand. So I can't, I still can't pull sand. Home settings, that, that, that. We go to docked vehicles. Hmm. Maybe there's not a way to connect the X storage depot. I feel like there probably is. Yeah, I'm thinking that we're still going to have to manually pull stuff from these in order to uh in order to get those in there, which is fine. That's fine. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be all right. Um I think what it is is so I have this base here and I throw an antenna on it and then like say I build another base somewhere else and I get items into a storage rack there and put an antenna on that one. I think I can then move um, resources from base to base that way. But I think the X storage ones are kind of like their exterior storage. You're going to have to at least go get those and bring them into uh, into the base. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but I think that's how it works. Okay, so now uh, wind turbine. We need to get that turbine stuff going. And I need to get a lot of, we need a bunch of titanium. Let me just go ahead and dump a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, I did build a whole bunch of servers last episode, so we should have room. Okay, so I have everything I need. Uh, one, two, three. I need one of those, two of those. Okay, so I have enough for two more. I have enough for three wind turbines. However, the, the generators take up a lot of room. Um, you know, I gotta say these, the drills are amazing. <laughs> the drills are amazing. Cause like, I didn't actually have to go out and get that much stuff. Just the titanium. And that's like, you know, that's not even that bad to find. All right. Wind turbine. Uh, I want them all facing the right, the same direction, but like, I don't even know what direction that's going to be. Oh, it looks like they are going to face the same direction. Okay. Let's get this guy. But right here. Okay. That's not the same direction. That might bother me until the end of time. That's fine. <laughs> All right, let's get another one put here. This is going to increase our base power by like a lot. And hopefully, uh, oh my gosh, that looks terrible. <laughs> I wish, I wish I could adjust them. I could. Oh, holy moly. Okay, this is fantastic. All right, let me go grab uh, the last generator. We should have all the base power we will ever need one one two three fantastic we're at 23 25 base power and hopefully with the addition of all these extra wind turbines 
it will uh, put less strain on each wind turbine individually. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's get a repair tool out. I want to see. Okay. So that one's at 23%, 22. Do these just decay that much over time? This is at 37%. Oh, you know why? It's probably the initial filling of the base. Because right now they're working on filling up the base with 3,000 power. Where is all of my power going? Where's all that power going? There's no way we have stuff taking that much power. All right, let's see. I just repaired them all to 100% again. How come we can't break 3,000? What is taking so much power? We don't have anything taking that much power. There's no way. This thing, the battery on this guy is like almost completely full. 85%. I mean, I don't know how much, I don't know how much power this thing can hold, but geez Louise. You know, maybe I modded this too much. Maybe I put too much of a multiplier on this thing and it's just pulling, uh, Oh, it's taking three power per second. Whereas before it was taking 0.7. You know what? Let's go ahead and let's uh programming board. Let's just uh deep drillers now configured to 12 per day. 0.7 per second. Let's just stick with that. That could have been it by itself. They still won't break over three though. There's no way. Unless they're all broken again. No, 92%. Uh, this one doesn't even give me a thing to look at to see how much. 63% efficiency. So they probably should be further apart, to be honest, if we want to get them 100% efficient. Uh, 71%. And yeah, you know what? I bet you it was that deep drill because it was taking three power per second. But still, like, how are we not over... This we have 3,075. Oh, you know what? It's probably that, uh, it's that solar panel on the top. Hold on a second. Let's go get rid of this solar panel up here. I mean, it might be just confusing it. Because it could be trying to fill that power and it can't fill it because it's like the, the solar panel, you know, it has to like make its own power. Is that, was that the deal? I think that was the deal. I think that was the deal. Okay. So that makes sense. We have 3000 power. Now. <laughs> so much power. I do kind of want to put these like away from each other though, to get them a higher percentage. Because like wind, wind turbine 75%. Oh, the efficiency is going up because it's not trying to fill that power void. That was never there. Well, no, it says 88% efficiency. I think it just changes with the day. It could just be uh, based on time. Okay, that's super cool. We have so much power. All right, now I want to see if we could extend our power beacon deal out to that other area and our, uh, our Seamoth should be good, should be nice and set up. Okay, so before we go, hold on a second. I need to grab I need to grab the stuff to actually make the uh, the power deals. One, two, one, two. Okay, we'll be good. Uh, food, water. Let's grab some water real quick. Grab all of those. Heck yeah, that thing right there is hands down like one of the best devices ever. Just saying, that is it's so nice. You don't have to worry about the salt. Like it could just eat, like you know, it just ejects it back into the ocean. You know what I mean? It's fantastic. Okay. Let's go get our other drill hooked up and let's see. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised it's not hooked up already because we do have a. I thought we had a power transmitter already over there. There might be a range on this thing. There might be a range on it. I'm sure there probably is, but I don't know what it would be right now. Are you connected? That's connected. Okay. All right. So let's go over here. Let's go check this guy out. Okay, so we got this guy here and we do already have a power transmitter over here. Now it's not, I'm going to rebuild it and build it again. And I'm going to see if it like reconnects to the network. It might not. I'm sure there's probably, there's probably a range on it, to be honest. 
Uh, so let's see. Let's get this guy. Let's get this guy. Let's put this here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so... And it's also not connecting that. Uh, we're not going to need this, I don't think. Let's go ahead and deconstruct that. Let's get this closer to this guy, maybe. I don't understand why I can't put this on here. Can I put it on top? <laughs> no, <laughs> I just can't put it anywhere over here. Okay, uh, you know, that should be close enough range, honestly. All right, so we're going to leave that one there. Now, we need to figure out what the distance between these things actually is. So I'm going to head back up towards uh, the drill two. And I'm going to go like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go midway between and see if if that'll connect. And then if not, you know, I'll move closer and closer and closer and so on and so forth. Okay, let's try it right here. Let's put it roughly a thousand ish uh, meters away, and let's just see if let's see if anything connects. You know, um, it might connect to my underground one. Doesn't look like anything connected off of that. Okay, and my other drill is only well, six hundred meters away, so that's too far. Okay, so six hundred is too far. A thousand is too far. Six hundred is too far. Let's go down to 500. Okay, so we're right about 500, 484. I mean, I'm going to put it up here, I think. Yeah, we'll put it up here. All right, so let's connect up this guy. Let's see what, uh, let's see what happens here. We're at 435. Doesn't look like connected. Now, the difference between these two is about 200. So it might be, it might be like a 200 meter range or a 300 meter range. It could be a 400 meter range too. Uh, let's go ahead and put it up like right here. That'll bring us to like 350-ish. Oh, it's connected. Okay, so it looks like 350-ish is about the sweet spot. Maybe. All right, and then I don't know how much do I have. I can only build one more and we have to go. Where is? We're gonna have to, we need at least three more, but that is connected and it is bringing power over from the main base. Okay, so let's go back to the main base. Let's grab a couple more gold, a couple more titanium and then get that connected. Essentially what we're doing is we're building a, um, we're essentially just building a power network in order to to power everything off of like one area which is those wind turbines obviously <laughs> all right so we need to go out this way about 350 ish so let's go all right i'm gonna try to put it right here right on the edge of this thing uh let's see okay power transmitter yep we are connected nice 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 there is the next one. You know, at first I was kind of like, man, I don't know if I want these blue lines running everywhere, but at the same time, that's almost like a waypoint. It's almost like a guide. It's like, oh, all I have to do is follow my power transmission line, you know, from like, from one base to the other. I don't even have to worry about getting lost or anything. It's gonna be super nice. Okay. All right. So let's see, 300 is so about 500 away on this one. All right, I'm gonna try to put it on this mushroom right here. I'm gonna see if it'll work for, for right here. Uh. Yeah, it actually will. Why can't why can't we have it like sitting upright, you know? There we go. That looks better. Okay. And so there's that one. Welcome now aboard, the Captain. next one should connect the drill. It should connect up the drill. All right, we're going to put one We're going to put one like right here. I think that'll probably work. Okay. Perfect. Right there it is. Let's see if that connects up. Uh, yes! We've got two lines! We've got two lines! That is connected to down here. So it looks like the range is roughly like 350-ish. It, it might be 400. I, I didn't test exactly 400, but I, I would say 350-ish to be safe. But that is automatically connecting down here to this line. But this line is not connecting to that. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's because it's turned off. Uh, the uh, all other connections. Is that turned off? Let's see. Other connections. 
true. Huh. That still doesn't want to connect that one. That's weird. I don't know. Like, okay, if I do that one there, will it connect it? Hmm. Really just doesn't want to connect that one. We might need to move this drill. It honestly, you know what? We need to move the drill anyways, because then we can go get kyanite crystals. Or, uh, not kyanite. We could get, um, how much room do I have? Okay. We're going to deconstruct it. Uh, because then I could get, uh, nickel. We could get some nickel out of it. So, we'll leave that there. And then... Let's go down over here. Now, I think our ghostly friend is no longer here. I think it's it's over at our base now. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the drill up right in here. Uh, Let's see. Deep driller. I want that thing as low to the ground as possible. Perfect. Build you there. Let's go ahead and get a power transmitter. Oh, it's not connected. You know what? We'll put it here anyways. And why is that not connecting to that one? Hmm. I don't know how far away the other one is either. Oh, it's connected now. Oh, but it's not connected. Ah, there is like a... Uh, wow, that is the close range. I wonder what the range is exactly from there to there. Why won't you go on here? Why won't you connect to the drill? Please connect to the drill. There we go. Uh. Oh. That got destroyed. Are you good now? It's good now. Okay. What items are we getting here? Quartz, titanium, copper, lead, diamond, gold, lithium, ruby, uranite, crystal, silver, nickel, and sand. Fantastic. Okay, so I don't want sand. I do want nickel. I don't want silver. Um, I'm not worried about uranite crystal right now either. Ruby, lithium, gold, I'm good. Diamond, I'm good. Quartz, titanium, uh, copper, and lead. I don't really want either of those either. Okay, enable that. Turn the filter on. We don't need those. And we are good to go. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love these things. Okay. How much how much more do I have? I don't have any more. Wow. Okay. Um, I need more gold. <laughs> I need more gold and titanium. But we got that hooked up. That's nice. I'm glad that we got that hooked up. And it's really nice because now we got the power line ran out to right here. So when we want to go down here and start making a base, we will already have power. And we won't have to worry about trying to figure out a power situation while we're down here. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, the only other place that I'm thinking a drill would be nice is in the lava tube area, in that lava biome, so that way we can maybe get kyanite crystal because kyanite crystal would be a super huge deal and super helpful. And 3% charged, looking good. What did, uh, what does the power stuff say? Uh, 3,000 looking, oh man, that is so nice. That is, uh, that's a, that's a good little quality of life thing too in itself. Awesome, awesome. All right. So we've got this drill powered up. It is doing the powery things. It's drilling. It's getting goods. It's getting power. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. I love it. But that is going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Next episode, we will be, um probably building our uh oh i heard our friend is our friend back uh we will probably be building our our next little ford operating base which is going to be closer to the um closer to those those lava the lava tube biome area and stuff like that we also need to get a prawn suit built we need to get upgrades going for that we need to get upgrades going for this we got a whole bunch of fun stuff to do but yes thank you again for coming out hopefully you have a fantastic time hopefully i see you in the next one have a fantastic rest of your day